वेलकम टू अन अकेडमी नीड इंग्लिश आई एम योर बायोलॉजी एजुकेटर अंबिका शर्मा एंड द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज योर डिमांड राइट आई नो यू गाइस आर इन क्लास 11th यू आर टारगेटिंग द एग्जाम एंड यू डोंट नो हाउ टू मैनेज योर एकेडमिक्स एंड योर नीट प्रिपरेशन और आईआईटी प्रिपरेशन टुगेदर राइट सो फॉर दैट वी हैव दिस वीडियो डू वॉच इट टिल द एंड डू हिट द लाइक बटन एंड द सब्सक्राइब बटन फॉर सच मोर वीडियोज ओके सो वट आर वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे यू नो द कॉन्टेक्स राइट सो आई विल टॉक फ्रॉम द बेसिक्स लाइक Uh, if i talk about the class 10th you know that in class 10th board exams are there isn't it so some defined syllabus is there you know the exam pattern you know that you have to go to the school right teacher is going to finish the syllabus then you have to come home you have to revise it you have to give the test and again and again you do you need to do the same thing isn't it isn't it if you will follow that routine properly you will be able to score good marks in your class 10th right it's sorted it's done it's done that you have to do in class 10 so after class 10 when you move to class 11th there is a transition because in class 10th the syllabus that you have covered if you know how to attempt the paper properly obviously you will score good marks in board exams you have to finish the syllabus and rest depends upon your paper attemptation right if you are going to attempt it in a proper way you will score good marks this is it this is what you need to do okay now when you move to class 11th you have the pressure of the competitive exam as well if you are targeting any exam isn't it isn't it so in class 11th it is not just related to the to uh, you know score good marks or something no you have to complete your syllabus the syllabus is vast it is different now uh, you cannot expect that okay these are the chapters if i'll do it i'll get this number this much of marks in competitive exam no no everything is important you have to cover everything properly you need to understand the basics you need to make the notes you need to practice the questions right so in class 11th when i talk about this transition the most important thing that you need to understand and you need to adapt is self study here you have to you have to be responsible you have to understand that it is your syllabus it is your exam your teacher and your parents are not going to tell you again and again that revise this revise that you have to do it by your own you have to make the notes you have to practice the questions so this is what you need to understand first thing. okay now how to balance everything when you talk about the neat or the academics one thing is common that is syllabus isn't it for both the for both the exams obviously we need to complete the syllabus some syllabus is defined now if i talk about the academics you know that in new ncrt ultimately base is ncrt in new ncrt there are certain chapters which are deleted right there are certain topics which are deleted but in neat examination there is no such deduction so there is a syllabus the syllabus is defined for both let's say you are in class 11th or even if you are in 12th you know your syllabus first right the only difference is that if you are in class 12th you should know the class 11 syllabus as well and if you are in class 11 you have to prepare in such a way that i have to retain everything the retention is important now you cannot say that i'm done with my class 11 board exams i don't need that syllabus i need to focus on 12th no if you are going for the competitive exam this is what you need to understand that in 11th and 12th both the standards are equally important and you should know the syllabus of both the standard so the very first common thing here is syllabus syllabus is there syllabus is defined right but there is no major difference let me tell you you can say that for your academics i'm just quoting one example let's say 12 chapters are there and for your neat exam let's say 15 chapters are there but ultimately syllabus is defined so first thing right even if you are in 11th or in 12th the very first thing that you need to do is your syllabus completion and while completing the syllabus do not focus that how will i manage it in neat how will i manage it in uh, you know board exams no there is nothing like that syllabus is common syllabus is common you need to understand that syllabus so understanding concept clarity is important first thing right it is common for both neat for the academics as well secondly your revision way is different it is bit different for academics what do you need you need to write the theory paper isn't it and for your neat exams you need to go for the mcqs so obviously while revising any chapter what you have to do you need to practice the questions you need to practice the mcq and now when it comes to the theory bachche right let's say i'll give you one example let's say there is a topic human heart there is a topic human heart you have completed it in your lecture you have revised it from your books 
right? So what you have to do, you just need to practice the questions based on it, the MCQs based on it. You will get an idea that what kind of questions will come in your NEET exam. And when it comes to the theory, if you understand the concept, if you know what is there in human heart, obviously you can write down the lines now. Nah. So there is no problem at all, right? So please liberate that thought that it is very difficult to manage both the things together. No, it's just that your way should be, your way needs to be very smart. That's all. Okay, this is what you people need to keep in your head. So one topic is there, revise the MCQ. If there is the understanding of that topic, the theory part you will do by yourself, isn't it? And ultimately the thing here is self-study. So self-study is important for both. So let's say you are completing, let's say there is a timetable. You are completing from Monday to Saturday, you are attending the classes, you are doing something. On Sunday, you cannot expect that there is my holiday, I have to enjoy. No, on Sunday what you have to do, you need to do the revision of whatever you have completed in the last six days, that's all. That's all. So if you will follow this pattern, neither your NEET exam nor your academics will get affected. Mark my word, you will score good marks. You are going to score good marks in boards as well. You are going to score good marks in NEET as well. So please liberate that thought from your head that it is going to be very difficult. No, your management is going to be different and this is what you have to learn. Okay, the first thing. Now, let's say you are in 12th class. You are in having the board exams. So obviously this thought, oh my God, we are having the board exams. I need to score 90 plus, uh, I need to score 95 plus. Okay, that type of thoughts are there. And then at that time we get confused because when we are in class 12, we have one pressure that 11 syllabus should be there in our head. We need to complete the 12 syllabus as well. Boards are there, practicals are there, right? The paper pattern is different. Now what to do in that scenario? See, again, one thing is very common that is syllabus. Right, again I'm mentioning the same point. Syllabus is common. You need to understand the theory. You need to understand the concept kits. So when your syllabus is done, you will practice the MCQ. And if your concepts are clear, you can write down the things in the theory. So what you have to prepare actually how to attempt the paper. Paper attempting strategy should be good. This is what you need to learn. And this is the thing which is going to make a difference. Right, if I talk about the CBSE exam, biology for biology, for chemistry, there is no major change when I talk about the board exams and the NEET exam. And if I talk about the physics, it is just the pattern that will be vary, right? It is just the pattern. Okay, in the physics, obviously, you will be having some uh, questions. You will have to derive that expression. So that is what you need to learn. So even if you are preparing for the competitive exam, that basics you understand, then you focus on MCQs. So here, you need to learn that derivations also. You need to practice that questions also. This is the only difference. So how can you manage it? Right, your, what you have to do? See, ideally, let's say we are in the my month till January or February, just complete your syllabus, right? Right, even we completed before that, but till January or February, you will be done with your revision. Right, now your paper are, board exams will be there in the month of March. For class 11 students, I'm telling you. Right, so for class 11, even if you complete your syllabus and revision till January, in the February, you can strictly revise the things as per your board exams, right? So it is not going to harm your need preparation because even if you are preparing for the board exams, you are completing the same syllabus, one thing. Now, you are in class 12th from May to January, finish your syllabus properly and in February month, dedicately, just focus on the boards only, right? But you have to do one thing that in this time span, you have to complete your syllabus properly. So ultimately, it is the story of the syllabus completion and concept clarity. So you can manage the things. Now, one more problem is there that if you are going to school, if you are going to school, there is the homework. Of course, you have to do it, right? They are going to give you some projects. So that time management is a bit difficult for you. So what you can do, whatever the school teacher is teaching, try to complete that in the school itself. And when you come to your home, try to devote one and one and half hour to that homework only. Because, because see, and even let's say the homework is too much and you have to devote more time. So whatever you are doing, just do not just do copy pasting, right? Understand that concept and then write it. So in this way, you can manage and you can save your time for the need preparation as well. So please stay motivated. Do not take pressure. Do not be anxious. Keep it very simple. Keep it light. Just focus on one thing, the syllabus I need to complete and complete it as soon as possible. That's all kids. That's what you need to do. 
okay and with the time you will even learn how to maintain that balance initial months may be a bit difficult for you but later on you will understand everything so just complete your syllabus and then practice mcqs concept clarity is there so theory part will be done and yes in 11th and 12th always make the notes just make the notes so when you make the notes no doubt you have to make the short notes but you learn how to write right you learn how to write okay and that thing you need to know you need to understand in your board exam that's all so for such tip uh, for such tips obviously subscribe our channel and time to time i'll tell you that this time this is what you need to do this is what you need to revise so don't you people worry about that just feel free stay motivated take care of your health because that that is more important and don't be so anxious neat is just the first step for you know mbbs in mbbs there are so many exams that you need to give so many books are there that you need to read right so you should learn how to take that pressure in a good way you cannot you cannot just always say that oh i got anxious and now i'm not able to do this right i'm in bad health or something no this is what you need to manage this is the first step for your you know college life so do it properly and for a uh, detailed syllabus completion for your need 2024 you guys can be the part of avenger batch and this is one of the best batches you can ever have for the need preparation we have already started the classes from 25th of may right so only a few seats are left so if you want to be the part of this batch the in the description box you will get the batch link click there add your number right you can even go for your email the coupon code will already be applied and you will get this batch okay so you can be the part of this batch if you want to complete your syllabus in six months for your need 2024 so along with syllabus completion the mcq practice the test series the guidance everything will be provided to you so do let me know the other issues that you people are facing while preparing for your board exams or even for the need do mention it in the comment section i will check it i'll make video on that so stay tuned something very amazing is coming on youtube which is free of cost for all the need aspirants so stay tuned thank you